I'm Dr. Gimbel demonstrating Trench Divide and Conquer. I'm using Vision Blue to demonstrate the Capsule Rexus. Helon 5 is my preferred viscoelastic. You can see that I puncture and create a V to start the tear and then continue as usual, stopping at subincisional area to re-grasp and then carrying on to complete the tear, moving the tip of the forceps in a direction different than the point of tearing, but to guide the tear in the desired diameter and direction. This is a 26 gauge cannula. I go right under the cortex, under the capsule to separate cortex from capsule and then use that tip to pull the nucleus away from the equator and rotate so that I can spin the nucleus at least 180 degrees, sometimes 360 degrees to make sure that all attachments to the cortex are severed. This is a Hefliger cleaver, which is my preferred chopper. In a very dense lens, it could be longer at the tip for more complete fracturing, but this works and is my preferred uh, configuration for the average nucleus. You can see I'm nudging the nucleus a little away so that I can sub-incisionally. This I call downslope sculpting. Sculpting needs to be deep centrally. It does not have to be a long trench or trough. To get that split from the center of the nucleus out to the periphery, then subsequent chopping will be complete because the epinucleus centrally, posteriorly, has been split. So these subsequent fractures have somewhere to complete into with that original complete split. Not unusual, as you see here, for subsequent fractures to not want to be complete through the epinucleus. So it's important to stay deep in the nucleus with the tip as further tissue is engaged so that one can achieve that complete fracture, if at all possible. The second instrument can be used to further separate the apex if it's not fracturing easily because of the consistency of the lens. I like small sections because less material escapes the tip. And you'll notice that with Helon 5, a very cohesive viscoelastic with low vacuum settings, about 110 millimeters of mercury, the viscoelastic is staying in the eye so that this is a very small compartment the second half is similarly fractured and removed. 